Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another Daily Scuttlebutt with Ivy's Family Factotum. I am Anson. And it is Monday. Monday, Monday. And Willow is not here. You're not going to see her today. Because she decided to bolt out the door as the little one was going out to the Jeep to head out for school. I was sleeping good. I, I didn't hear nobody this morning. Normally, you know, everyone is just loud enough. Because when you're in an RV, right, stuff's going to move. Obviously, kids are not quiet. Uh, those things, even though they try. Well, I know Gladys and and our oldest likes to, to be somewhat quiet. But when you got a little one with autism... She's not quiet, <laughs> but she's doing good this morning. I didn't hear, uh, really anything that I can remember until Willow decided to bolt out the door and I'd heard Gladys say, don't open the door because Willow was standing right there and we know how she gets sometimes. She only does that to the kids. She is never... Well, I take that back. She has bolted out the door with me, but that's after I've already walked through the door. Before I can turn around to, to close the door, she jumps out. She has done that. Uh, she's actually done that to Gladys before, too. And that, so this is the thing. She, she, right, is like a Velcro dog, but then she's also gets these independent streaks. To where she doesn't want to be inside. She wants to go, right? But whenever she gets to those independent streaks, any type of listening, right? Because a dog, most dogs, when they're trained and such, are obedient. They will always listen to their owner, right? You give them a command, they listen. Boom, they're there. Whenever she hits these... These streaks of independence, it doesn't matter what you say, shoo, 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 runs, 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 goes and gets in the creek, goes and gets in the pond, goes to the neighbors, goes to the cow field, goes into the woods, gets filled with ticks and all those things. And I will not, Gladys will not let her back into the RV when that happens until she's had a bath, until those things and guess what I don't give her a bath <laughs> it's, it's not going to happen I help if if Gladys asked me to help I do help her but nope because I've said from the very beginning that when we first moved that we did not need any animals until we were ready to have them and I stick to that. I do stick to that. And every, every time stuff like this happens, you know, it, it's one of those, I told you so. I told you so. I told you so. I know. And it, <laughs> she gets mad at me all the time. Um, but I, don't get me wrong. I love animals. I do. I enjoy having the company of a dog. One that listens and is obedient. Which you have to train for that. I know that if you just go out and you get a dog, they're not going to be obedient because you have to train them. I don't have the time to do that because I am focused on building to getting our infrastructure to be able to do those things. So I'm not taking time out of my day to go train a dog, to take care of a dog, to feed a dog, to give the dog water, to take the dog on walks, to do because it's Owning a pet, you know, is a lot of responsibility. I mean, it's one of the things that we're actually teaching the kid is we ended up getting those three dogs from, right? They wanted to rescue them from the, the trash, basically. They're the trash pack trio. And I told them, I said, I... I 
am going to do nothing with these dogs. And I, I told him once again that if you want to take the responsibility, responsibility is a lot. Feed them, water them, bathe them, take them for walks, give them the training, you know, to do those things. I was like, all that, all that stuff takes time out of your day. A lot of time, especially when they're a little puppy. Um, financial burdens, right? We're on a budget. The financial burdens of owning a dog whenever we're trying to build. Um, so, yeah. Glad I just went back to work. You know, obviously they, they need needed a person in that in that position. Uh, one of the biggest factors to that was we could use the money. So that that was kind of like the a lot of the pros and cons that went back and forth with that of you know should I do this should I not do this and that that was like the the straw that that tipped it a little more to the one side than the other was we need the money or we could use the money. We don't need it to live, right? We are able to pay our bills. We're able to feed our our family, right? We're not homeless. We, well, we don't live in a home. We live in an RV, but, <laughs> you know, I know some people will say, yeah, I'm homeless, but then they have an RV. Um, so, you know, we got our land. And all this stuff that, well, we're still paying for it. It's not 100% paid off yet. But all these things, you know, are, are factors. And when stuff like that, whenever Willow just decides to, to go, it, it irritates me. It really does. Um, because now I'm here, right? Gladys is at work. Kids are gone at school. And now I'm here having to worry about a dog and it's taking away from my day of going to to build and to make sure because obviously if something is to happen to the dog whenever everyone else is gone it ultimately falls back on me now because i'm the one that's at home i'm the one that is just out letting her gallivant without going to do anything right well, it it comes down to that, hey, I'm going to just go let her do whatever the heck she's going to do until she decides that she wants to come back, which she already has. I have her tied up now. Um, so she's in basically a timeout. And she's dirty. She, I cannot let her back into the RV because obviously she went and got into the water. She's completely covered, you know, her legs, her underbelly, all that stuff. So I know she went and got into the creek. And, uh, yeah. So she's going to stay outside until she gets a bath. We can't put her into the kennel. So normally whenever this happens, she goes into the kennel. And she'll be in the kennel for a timeout. But she still has, you know, food and water available to her. But right now, Lilu is out there, the other dog that was rescued. Uh, she's out there now because she had her surgery to to be um, fixed. So she's still in a cone and she's still recovering from that surgery. And uh, so obviously I can't put Willow into the kennel. We only got the one. <laughs> so she's tied up and she has the water. And she doesn't, because that's what's crazy about this, right? is she loves being inside. Normally, right? Because she only gets this this little, you know, thing of independence maybe like once or twice a month. She always listens. When you tell her to sit, she'll sit. You tell her to lay down, she'll lay down for the most part. Because um, she's very food-driven. Right, so Gladys gives her a lot of scrap. Like whenever she's in the kitchen, Gladys will give her a lot of scraps. You know, she'll feed her as she's prepping food, which I told her, don't do that. Don't do that. You continue to do that, she's not going to want to eat her food. And 
And she doesn't. She'll go all day without eating any dog food whatsoever. Because she's she's waiting for scraps. She's waiting for scraps. She's waiting for for someone to drop food from the table. You know, on accident or whatever. That way she could be there to scoop it up. And, uh... Because of that, she doesn't eat her dog food. And she'll wait until late, late at night to, to eat any of that. Because now she's starving, right? Starving. <laughs> because she hasn't eaten anything all day. Because, you know, depending on what we're making, right? There's a lot of things dogs can't eat. So, she doesn't get any scraps handed to her. So now she has to go and eat, you know, at 10, 11 o'clock at night. <sighs> yeah. Doggo issues. But it's Monday. I need to get busy now that she is back. So, yeah, it's almost 8.30 in the morning. So it took an hour, a little over an hour for me to to waste this morning um, on a dog that I could have been doing something else. So, if you can't tell, I was a little irritated this Monday. So, and, yeah, I know I shouldn't drag you guys along, but I am. But. I, I just want to let you guys know that, you know, we we are still working on getting a satellite internet service. That that's one of the things we're we're still trying to get added to the budget, and and such. So obviously, with Gladys going back to work, it's we should be able to to do that now. Um, one of the things that we can do, and then obviously we're still continuing to pay on on bills. That way, we can actually upload because. We've always said that once we, we went full-time that we want to have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday video release. At least three videos a week on the main channel. This was every Monday through Friday, every day. And we have not been able to uphold that commitment. And I know like some folks have said, well, why don't you just drive into town to, to get the internet and just upload your video there? Well, for one... Gas prices are, are tremendous right now, right? Thanks to administration. And because of that, right? Like I told you guys, we're still on a budget. We're, we're not getting paid yet for here or on the main channel. So, and even when you do start getting paid, you're not getting paid a lot at the very beginnings, right? Unless you can hook up to, you know, a few brand deals, maybe some sponsorships and stuff like that. That's where all the, the good money comes. But it takes time for that. And I know this. We know this. So, for the the right now, the right meows is we're having to do what we need to do. The slow roll, which I'm still trying to get out at least one video a week, right? At least one video a week, trying our hardest. And and it's it's really based off of you know the the intro webs of hey. Because if you look, I got red, red dot. Because the, the location of the RV is not <laughs> a good spot for cell service. And I do know that once we're able to move the RV to the other location, that cell signal is a lot better over there. And hopefully with a boosted cell si signal, it'll be even better. And then... Um, plus we're also waiting to move the RV to get satellite because I don't, I don't want a, a satellite, uh, internet provider to set up all that stuff here. And then we're going to end up moving the RV in less than a month. And then now I got to pack up all that stuff, move it over there or have someone come back out to reset it up over there. Right. So it's, um, it's just that, yeah, we're we're not really wanting to to waste those funds and and having to do that and and such. So uh, we're we're playing the waiting game, and that's 
Just letting you guys know. All right. So, but anyway, uh, I know this one was a little different. Uh, I'm just aggravated today. And I, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer. Uh, bring you guys along. And if if people aren't sitting there watching this whole video, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. So, but I do appreciate you guys. Uh, if you made it this far, um, that I'll be all right. It's just one of those things that I, I'm learning to live with, you know, was, of change and being here working on my own, having to deal with the animal that irritates me and, and such, but we'll get there. All right, you guys, I definitely appreciate y'all. Remember to thank a veteran every chance you get, not only on Veterans Day, and we'll see y'all next one. Later, y'all.